Hey, welcome back, I'm David Mustard and I have this week made my way to Broadstairs, a beach town on the far southeast corner of Britain and this is just one street away from the beach. How cool is that? You can just walk down to the beach in five minutes and if you want to go shopping or check out the local pubs and restaurants, you're only a 20 minute walk away from that. So you don't even have to use your car when staying here. And it only takes just under two hours to get here by car and the same by train from London. Now let me say welcome to Woven. This is just an incredible home and a sophisticated luxury retreat. And just take a look at this house. It's a glass house. There's floor to ceiling windows in all directions all around the house. Bringing in that light from the outside and the green trees that are covering this house all around it It really feels like you're outside when inside of this home. It's a really serene experience This place sleeps up to eight people and has four bedrooms all on the first floor and the living areas on the ground floor now when we first arrive here, we park our car and make our way over to the house which is just beautifully secluded even though this is in a residential area close to the town of Broadstairs. You really feel like you're out in a forest when staying here. And they have created a gravel path all around the house with a green lawn in the front of it where you can sit and get some sun during the day. This house has a really cool feature right next to the house actually and it is this old brick shed which doesn't have a wall on the side so it's completely open it's probably an old garage or something like that and inside here there's a freestanding bathtub just sitting here now I have definitely never seen anything like this before and there's a shower right next to it as well but if we move further into the building now here's the coolest part there's a door just at the end and if we step through we're in a sauna this is such a fun and unique idea and let me show you what it looks like from the outside. It's one of those barrel saunas that you see sometimes, but it's so unique that they have just put it up against the brick wall. Now we are definitely going to spend some time down at the beach during our stay here. Probably try to go for a long walk along the beach in the morning and have a look at the tall white chalk cliffs. You've probably heard about the white cliffs of Dover which is only a 30 minute drive from here. This is reminiscent of that, but not as tall, but just as magnificent. Now let's turn our heads towards the inside of this unique home. There's several entrances into the house and inside we are met by this open plan solution that runs around the whole house with no walls or barriers in between them since the only walls in here are placed in this cube-like formation in the middle of the house. This makes maximum use of the light coming in from all directions and the views are therefore 360 degrees and almost unobstructed. It's a really unique shape. Anyway, the style of the house is really cohesive with wood clad walls and ceilings with a beautiful concrete floor in grey and then black details throughout. This is really a style that I like and the whole place is very minimalist in the interior design style as well. Just as you step inside, you have a large black rug on the floor with a shoe rack in black to our left because in here you take off your shoes, of course, after a long day of walking along the beach. And to our right is a huge closet to hang your outerwear and a bench next to it for sitting down and taking off your shoes. And I'm not sure really where to start here since you can walk around the whole home in any direction. But let us first have a look at the kitchen to our left. It's just in connection to the hallway and here you have everything you will need for your stay since it's fully fitted. The kitchen panels are all in black with a round door handle that does not protrude from the panel like usual but is instead sunken. It's just a nice subtle detail. We're going to renovate our kitchen soon so I'm definitely taking some inspiration from this one here. 
the contrasting color here in the kitchen is white, which you can see on both the worktop and the wall behind it, but also on the kitchen island in front of the windows where you can stand and cook. Since the stove is integrated here and you can just enjoy the serene nature outside. How nice is that? I also really like the pendant lighting coming down from the ceiling here. We will see more pendants throughout the house and I think that's a great solution if you don't like regular spotlights, which can sometimes look like eyes in the ceiling and it kind of sometimes ruin the design of it. On the other side of the kitchen island here, we have a couple of breakfast chairs in a light wood which matches the walls and ceiling. There's also two ovens integrated on the kitchen panel wall as well. Now from here, we'll continue our walk towards the dining area with an absolutely beautiful dinner table. And I really like that they've gone for these wood benches with comfortable gray cushions on either side of the table and just two black chairs at the end of it. This table seats eight people so you can fit the whole group you're visiting with. For us, it's just Jenny and me, so we should maybe just pick the chairs on either end and pass the food in between us. Feels regal or something? Above the table, we find more of those pendant lights, these ones in glass, hanging at different heights. Just a very nice touch. At the other end of this room, we find a living room. That's the one right behind me. And I like how minimalist it is between the dining area and the living room. They haven't filled the whole space in between with things just to fill it up. This is really a design I can get behind. In this corner, we have a couple of sofas in gray. The one up against the glass feels lighter with a wood frame that lifts it up off the floor. And the one opposite is a heavier piece and almost looks like a cube from the side and it goes all the way down to the floor. In the middle, we have a small coffee table and then there's these two chairs as well. Oh, and I almost forgot, between the dining area and living room, we have the stairs up to the first floor, but more about that later. Now around the corner from the living room, we have our third entrance to the house with some wardrobes opposite the door. And if we just go through this little entrance next to it, we have the downstairs bathroom with a toilet and sink. And there's also a washing machine down here. And now let's have a look at the last part of the ground floor, and that is the TV room. Here along the wall we have some more wardrobes and then there's a smaller sofa here in front of the TV and this is one of my favorite TVs. It's the Samsung Serif. We might just get one of these ourselves after our renovation. It's so sleek and it looks so great in almost any interior design setting. So Samsung, contact me. To create some separation in this room and some extra darkness since there's so much light coming in, they have actually put up these thick curtains behind the sofa that you can pull across to make it a bit cozier. A bit darker and it helps with the sound quality as well since it dampens the audio in here. There's also a wall of black wardrobes here which makes this corner even darker. But now I think it's time to head up the stairs, so come along. Up here there are four bedrooms, two of them have king-sized beds and two of them have twin beds that can be combined into super king-sized beds. But out here in the hallway we have a desk right in front of one of the windows if we need to do some work during our stay. And if we turn around we have a long hallway with a beautiful black banister that runs along it and at the end we have a glass door and a couple of steps that takes us up and out onto a huge balcony that goes all along from one end of the house to the next. And out here you actually have a bit of a view, even though most of your garden is covered by trees for that serene forest experience. Out on the balcony you have a couple of seating options, you have this green bench and these two sun chairs. We'll definitely be using them later today. Now back inside. The four bedrooms up here are all beautiful with the same aesthetic that we've seen throughout the house. They're all also en suite, so you have that little extra privacy. And a fun detail is that the two twin bedrooms both have bathtubs in the room with curtains so you don't get any of that water outside the tub. These two rooms also have a clothes hanger in black and huge windows on one side that you can either cover with the curtains or have them open so that you wake up with the morning sun. The other two rooms are just as great and their en suites have showers instead of tubs. And they each also have wardrobes so that you can hang your clothes there and also put away your bags. 
All in all, this is a perfect weekend getaway and it has everything you could ever ask for in a luxury holiday home. Anyway, now I think that's it for this tour of Woven here in Broadstairs on the coast of Kent. I will leave a link below to their booking site so that you can book your own stay. And don't forget to leave a like on the video, that's always very helpful. Now let me know what your favorite part of this home is. Is it the incredible location close to the beach and town? Or is it the Scandi interiors? Or that it's actually a glass house? Let me know and please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see. So let me know what you want to watch. Architectural masterpieces, tree houses, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more behind the scenes of these amazing homes. I'll leave links below for that, so go and have a look. Thanks for hanging out today and see you soon. Bye bye.